I guess music for me is really just an escape. Like, I, like for me, I've been doing this for a while now. It's been an escape from pretty much reality and my emotions. It's kind of like my way of trying to fix everything that fucked up pretty much the first part of my life. I'm Dexter Brandon, aka Z Official, and I rep Colossus Records. Colossus Records is really a movement, a culture. We're trying to push art larger than life itself. We're an independent music label looking to move forward different sounds that are in the underground and help bring out artists and their art in general to the public. started it was back in december i think it was december 23rd i had started it up because i remember the people i started it with it was three other guys one guy i had from um, college that uh, college i went out of he was with me and um we had started it all together you know because we love music and um around january is when we started promoting it we had the idea so we were like you know we need to mold this before january comes um Instantly, as soon as we announced it, we were getting submissions like crazy. It was a, it was a fun experience, but really, when it really started to make an impact and get serious for me, was I'd probably say around February when it's going around my birthday, because that's when they were, you know, getting iffy about it or wanting to leave. It was like something that was, it was almost a baby to me, because I wanted to make sure that it was, you know, growing and nurtured and taken care of. But you know, you have people messing around with it, not taking it seriously, or they're just like, you know, I don't want to do it anymore. So that's when, for me, it got serious. That's when I had to take the reins and get serious about it. Mind you, I had no clue of what I was doing at all. No aspect of business, nothing about Photoshop, or, nothing about Photoshop or creating anything. <clears throat> Primarily, all I knew was just making music and throwing some cover art for my stuff, and that was pretty much it. Everything else, I didn't really know. I don't know how, but I just figured out how to market better. Like, I don't know it entirely, I can't say that, but, yeah. like, I know what people like to see. And, like, when I sponsor stuff, I put it packaged well. You know, like, most people that have, like, just somebody smoking on the cover, and like, oh, shit, that's cool. Like, no, that's, it's not cool. It's not cool. Like, it, yeah, it's, some people like to do it, that's dope, but, like, it's not marketable. Yeah. If you, like, fucking went to, like, a church and tried to do that shit, that would work. <laughs> you gotta have it for everybody, you can't be biased. Good luck. <laughs> Not too worried about the music. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of certain that he will be fine with that. I can see he has that ear for it. Um, I've kind of studied him. He's taught me some things along the way. The only concern I have now is the environment in which he has to go into to perform or to um, find artists for his label. With Ty Dexter, well, I'm not too worried about him going off the beaten path, but I would want him in an environment where there may be um, drugs or, uh, you know, anything that's um, illegal, any type of illegal activity going on. So, like, it started off, I was in my college dorm. 
was just like rapping and like joking around with my friends and like freestyle and stuff. And we, had, uh, we had some beats going. And this dude that was a friend of my friend, he was like, why don't you just call yourself Zed? Because I was like, I, mean, I guess he was like, that's backwards. I was like, okay, Zed. So since then, it's been like that. Yeah. He like, he just came up with that. I was like, okay, I'll run with that. I wish I could sack you sometimes, but that, I go to jail. And yeah, man, this is. I like this shit, Yeah. I'm gonna turn down on the You. You. Thanks for taking this to you. I'm coming back for the track.